Welcome to Up On Game presents Taylor Scouting. Coach Randy Taylor is bringing his 40 plus years of knowledge to you. This is Taylor Scouting. And now here's Coach Randy Taylor. Welcome to LeVar Arrington's Up On Game Network's Taylor Scouting Podcast, where I'm using my 40 plus years in college football at Illinois, UNLV, UCLA, and Minnesota as a coach and a recruiting coordinator. And you can help, you can find us on all podcast carriers and social platforms. And our goal is to educate and inspire future and present coaches, recruiters, scouts, and fans. Today, I have the pleasure of hosting another guru in football training, coaching, and seven-on-seven. This is the Top Gun football and training creator, Scott Hoffman. How are you, brother? I'm doing great, Coach. Great to hear from you. Great to see you. You, uh, We're going to get through this, even though it might be a little choppy. We'll see how it goes. Hey, hey, Coach, give me a little bit of your background and, and your current role. So I grew up in the city of Chicago and uh, was a son of a football coach. My dad played at U of I with Dick Buckus back in the day, and he went on and become a, became a Chicago Catholic League Hall of Fame coach himself. Um, so that was the environment that I grew up in, and I was fortunate uh, coming out of high school to get a scholarship to the University of Florida, uh, where I was redshirted and transferred to uh, and played at Purdue University, uh, which is where I actually uh, got my degree and earned a a couple letters as well as a quarterback. Uh, After time uh, collegiately, I went and played uh, in Germany. Uh, I was a player coach there and got out of football after an injury. And after 14 years in financial services, uh, I reconnected with the game of American football uh, with my financial services company while I was in England. And when I came back from England, I got into private coaching. Uh, I purchased my current company, Top Gun, in January of 2010. Uh, and I've been running it now for, well, this is going on 14 years this January. Uh, I also do coach uh, at a high school and uh, have coached at uh, multiple high schools in the junior college level as well. Coach, what is Top Gun's mission and, and goals that would be the same as you, I think? So I, I'm a Christian coach, and, and everything I do is based around a Bible verse, uh, Luke 12, 48, uh, to whom much was given of him, much will be required. And therefore, um, also acting as the dean of students at Schaumburg Christian School, uh, that that's through and through who I am. And what we do at Top Gun, answering your question, is to provide uh, an education for football, uh, but doing so in a manner that's also helping uh, grow and lead godly men so that when they leave our company, uh, they'll not only be better football players and hopefully go on and play collegiately and perhaps beyond, uh, but they're going to they're gonna learn life lessons that they can help uh, raise their own families and live as, uh, as godly young men as well. That's outstanding. I love that. Hey, talk about your Thank teaching you. quarterbacks. How, how do you teach a quarterback? Well, we work with quarterbacks, and personally, I coach them uh, individually, one on one. We work with them age twelve through uh, through high school, and uh, then some of the kids, as they go on and get scholarships, play collegiately, come back and work with us privately as well uh, in their college years. But uh, how we work with them is again. Uh, on an individual one-on-one basis. We do uh, packages of five, 10, 20, or 30 sessions uh, with us. And we do those year round throughout the year, indoor and outdoor. So if you're talking to a quarterback and he came to your uh, session, tell me how you start him. Mm-hmm. What, what do you, you work from the feet up or the, the arm or how do you, how do you coach a quarterback? Great question. Clearly, you've been a coach, Coach. Uh, we work from the ground up, absolutely. And uh, our first five sessions are just focused on the fundamentals. And uh, we work with everything from, the, you know, the, the, the stance to the drop back, three-step, five-step, gun, uh, rollout, play action, bootleg. Get all the basics in first to make sure that they've got the good fundamental foundation before even working in uh, to you know, going with downfield routes or reading defenses or things of that nature. 
I test each of my quarterbacks at the end of every session. That way I'm able to gauge their continued growth. Uh, and then we also do, uh, and, that, and that's just on a, a, a speed test that we do that we've put together over the years. And then at the end of each package, whether it be 5, 10, 20, or 30 sessions, then we do a detailed handwritten uh, evaluation test as well. Do you coach, are you talking about where their elbow position should be uh, pronating the wrist? I mean, all of the, the, you know, hips and all that kind of stuff. Do you, do you get into that as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and most importantly, it's uh, total delivery time with accuracy. Uh, but all of those things come into play, obviously transferring weight from, you know, a right-handed quarterback, right tip to left toe, or right hip rather to left toe transfer and making sure that they're finishing uh, in a good position and have their eyes uh, on their target before, during, and after the throw. And uh, when they're throwing on the run, that they're throwing off the right foot and they're following their throw, all the little things that uh, most coaches know, obviously, but uh, they don't necessarily get the time to spend uh, with the quarterback one-on-one -on -one, uh, as we do. How do you, are you teaching even to the, where their elbow is compared to their shoulder or, or ball position, three quarters of how, how much do you get into all of that detail? Not, not too much in terms of uh, the throwing side, other than if they're making errors. In other words, typically when you drop your elbow, the ball tends to sail. If you're tipped and your shoulders aren't parallel, the ball might tend to go to the ground. Uh, what we really work on more than anything else uh, is making sure that they have total control of their of their body before, during, and after the throw, and uh, that they're finishing strong, Coach. So if I'm a right-handed quarterback, I want my left side to be under co complete control so that my belly button is exactly on the target uh, at the point of release and through the release and even after the release as well. Yeah, that uh, you you sound like a quarterback coach. Hey, hey, uh, give me some <laughs> success stories, brother. Some of the well, guys because coach. we've gotten into, yeah, you bet. I mean, we've been doing this, like I said, now thirteen years, and um, we've also been in the seven on seven arena for that time as well. So our success stories range from you know. Uh, multiple positions all the way up. We, we're up to now 283 uh, different kids that have received college scholarship offers and uh, over $20 million in scholarships over the last uh, 12 years. So uh, the names that you might know when you say success stories, uh, Cole Komet is a starting tight end for the Chicago Bears. Um, you've got a few other NFL players. Jonathan Ward is uh, bounced around as a running back with the Arizona Cardinals and the Tennessee Titans. Uh, Carlo Kemp has been in the league and has been bouncing around a bit. He's uh, last been with the San Diego Chargers and uh, starting quarterback right now for the University of Minnesota coach uh, where you coached, Ethan Kaliakmanis, uh, is one of our players. And uh, I, I could go on and on, but uh, there, there's plenty of guys, and, and we're proud of each and every one of them, uh, especially those that you know go on and get their college paid for. I'm not going to put you on the spot and say who's the next great one. So we'll just kind of go through, go past that with you. Okay, brother. I don't want any parents to get mad at you. You bet. No worries. Hey, where do you hold your seven <laughs> on seven and exactly combines, right. et cetera? You know, where do you, first of all, where do you train? Well, being the dean of students at Schaumburg Christian School, uh, we have an indoor uh, multi-million dollar life, uh, indoor life center gymnasium. So during the winter months, I'm able to utilize that facility. Uh, and that is where we host our Chicagoland um, combine and, and seven on seven tryouts, as well as our practices. Um, once the weather breaks, obviously the game of football is played outdoors. So we prefer to train outdoors. If we're going to play uh, on a turf tournament, we'll practice on turf. If we're going to play in a grass tournament, we'll practice on grass. If we don't have a tournament coming up that weekend, we'll go to the city and train in the sand. So we'll 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 whatever we're doing, we're enhancing the players' ability and um, the tournaments that we host uh, indoors is uh, in Chicago is the largest indoor seven on seven tournament uh, in the world. Uh, and that's out of Lake Barrington's Canlin Sportsplex. I think that's where you were at, Coach, when you were in town. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great facility. We've hosted, 
Yeah, it's nice. We host uh, we've hosted tournaments in Colorado, and uh, we've had seven on seven teams in Colorado, Indiana, uh, obviously Illinois, where I'm based in Florida. Uh, we've done camps uh, overseas in the United Kingdom uh, as well, and as well as out west in Arizona. So we'll pretty much go wherever um, you know wherever we can uh, based on the interest, Coach. And so are you doing any five on five type stuff as well? Or are you sticking more with the, the skill players, including the tight ends and the DBs and all that? Yeah, it's, it's exclusively the passing game and seven on seven. Uh, again, I do coach at a high school in Chicago. So that's where I get my, uh, my taste of the full real game of football. Um, but uh, the top gun part is strictly working with the skill position guys in the off season uh, and doing private lessons individually one-on-one. -on -one. What's next for top gun? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're, uh, we're back to expanding uh, now that COVID's behind us and hopefully stays behind us. Um, we're opening up back in Florida again uh, and we're looking to do some stuff overseas uh, and we're looking to get into the scouting arena as well. So stay tuned, I guess is probably the best bet. Um, but I definitely look forward to keeping in touch with you, Coach. And uh, I appreciate you reaching out and appreciate you hosting this podcast and, and wish you the best of luck. You too, brother. How do they get a hold of you? Top Gun, uh, at Top Gun QB. It's the social media way, right? So we're on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, Top Gun QB Inc. is our Facebook link. Uh, you can reach me, Scott Hoffman, Coach Hoff, on LinkedIn. Uh, phone number is 847-346-5635 if you'd rather call or text. All right, buddy. I, I sure appreciate you coming on with me, and, and hopefully uh, we run into each other again soon and and uh, you get more kids to sign up with you. Uh, uh, I just want to tell everyone else, remember to yeah, get – Yeah, I appreciate you, Coach. You, okay, buddy. I didn't know if I lost you already. Uh, hey guys, remember to catch. Oh no Taylor worries, God bless. Scouting. Thanks, but remember to catch Taylor Scouting on Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific time on YouTube. The Up on Game Network, Up on Game presents Taylor Scouting podcast. You can catch us on iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get all your podcasts. Rate and review our podcast. Follow us on all social platforms by searching the Up on Game Network. You can follow me on X at our Taylor FB Scout. I sure appreciate you. This is uh, Coach Taylor again uh, from Taylor Scouting and the Up On Game Network. All right, buddy. Thanks. Hey, see you at the top, Coach. <laughs> appreciate right. you. You got it, man. <laughs>